Welding is a great art, man, and it's fun and everything, but until it starts ruining amazing shirts like such that you have to turn into mechanic shirts, you know, this was a good shirt. Still is, that's why it's got some life. So, oh well. There's like midnight, you see all the light kind of reflecting off of this guy, huh? Actually, yeah. Do a quick little cover up there. I don't want to completely get it all painted and stuff and whatnot. So I'm just going to do this. Now I'm going to come in there and carve it out again. So this is the new Rust-Oleum stuff. I guess it's for farm animals. I mean, farm equipment. Farm equipment. <laughs> so. It was a little bit more. I think it was like five, five, six bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah five, six yes. bucks tax. Yeah. All we're gonna do is we're gonna touch up these kind of things. We just kind of slightly scuffed them. As you guys see, that our '78 Trans Am's got its frame on that we repaired. Oop, try to get up a little um, And we put in the new uh, new springs, control arms, uh, upper lower ball joints, new shocks, and we are gonna get the new uh, spacers here. But once we get the, the spindles in and everything. Uh, once we get it set down, but for right now what we are going to do is just going to touch this stuff up right here Nothing too big nothing too crazy. Just uh, it was just uh, like the, it was just our brake booster and uh, And uh, other steering shaft right here. I got the rubber stuff kind of messed up and some other things just kind of give it a little Similar look we took off the master cylinder. We're going to give that a little different color paint job You'll see in a minute when we do that and we finished cleaning up our gearbox, which we're gonna put some uh, some of that Eastwood uh, Diamond Clear stuff. Real good stuff. Runs really well and it's really good. Dries up in about 15-20 minutes. Still pretty warm outside, so we're gonna make this happen tonight. So let's start. Let's start farm implemented. So let's see how good it looks. Now we already put some etching primer on this stuff from earlier before we did our firewall. And so now we're just gonna touch it up. And it's the good thing about it, we did it this color because we can match some of the pore 15 we put on back there. It's not really gonna damage it. It's a good thing we use that etching primer because it, it's sticking really well to it. You can see it. We lost some of the sun, but it's okay. It's still pretty warm out here. And this will work out just fine. Oh, that. Oops. Did I touch it? Yeah, I did. This is our, uh, I'm just wiping off some of the axis grease from our pivot arm. Now, this is the gearbox to our 1978, now, let me get that in there, uh, Firebird, Pontiac Firebird. Now, this guy is actually a really good car because this has still got the uh, Pontiac 400 in it. You know, later after 78 into the middle, in the middle of 78 and into 79, they swapped over to the Oldsmobile 403. And they just called it the 400, but it was no longer a Pontiac engine. And as we know, Pontiac's gone now. Oh well. Famous stuff that uh, that good rust is over from Rustolium. Thank you guys. Not that we're getting any kind of sponsorship, but maybe one day we'll see. But right now, man, we cleaned this up. We just we were having all these uh, fancy ideas of powder coating. You know, that's how we do it. Like our 1993. Uh, GT Mustang, you know, we powder coated the rear end of damn near our teeth, the floors and everything on that thing. And so we're just going to save a little bit of cash. We're just going to mix up some of this uh, Eastwood 
Diamond Clear, man, this stuff works really good, man, because um, one of the experiences that I've had with spray-on aer or aerosol clear, a lot of times I think it traps moisture. So what ends up happening is when it actually settles on metal that's bare like this, when it does, you'll kind of get to see like a, a hint of, of rust underneath it. And so I've seen a couple of things that I've done with it, with aerosol uh, clear. This stuff right here, I don't get it. It just seals it in. Just wipe it down, make sure it's uh, oil free and uh, it just seals it in real good. I wouldn't use it on anything that's matted because it just ends up lifting up the mat. Then also defeats the purpose of matted. So we got some uh, some awesome Indonesian finest paint brushes. Oh no, these are China, so these are gonna fall apart right away. And I had a little uh, stick over there. Doc. Where are you? Well, it says to stir it, not to shake it. So, like Mr. Bonds. Oh, those are shaken, not stirred. Never mind. It's kind of yellowish, huh? Mm hmm. That's alright. As long as it goes on clear, which, by the looks of it, it probably will. So like I said guys, this stuff dries up pretty quick. It's really watery. Damn it, someone's calling. Alright, let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. The new can, is it first time using this? This is a can? yeah, this is the first time using this can. Okay. So as you can tell, you just have to kind of move with it. It does run really well. So um I don't know if the camera can catch the difference of how the material ends up looking. And just kind of move it around. Um Smells good. Don't drink it. So I'm just kind of letting it slop on there. The more the merrier. Don't worry about it. Be very liberal with it. Can we use that word? Yeah. Because it's going to run. But the good thing about it that this stuff settles in pretty quick. Pretty quick. It's almost like when it, once it makes contact, especially if it's nice and warm like it is tonight, as you guys can hear the crickets going. <laughs> um, it'll start to get tacky pretty soon. You know, you'll feel it um, once you touch it. It starts to get pretty tacky, really quick. Like right here in the back, you can already feel it. And I'm just kind of going over here because it's good, it's good. So, if you guys can see, like it runs pretty fast, man. So, move quickly. And um, like I said, once it um, <clears throat> once it gets in there, you'll once you start going over, you start to feel it starts to get tacky in certain places. It's pretty much starting to settle. So I'm just moving it around, moving it around. Now, once this side's all pretty much set and done, we'll go ahead and turn it around. Probably in the morning, I'm gonna let this side settle up real nice and uh, come back in the morning and you know give it another go. But I'm gonna flip it around. So I may have the um, the stain marks coming from the top down now. Because we're actually doing the bottom of it. For the pitman arm, we're actually just going to mask it off and paint it. I'm, I'm lazy. I don't want to take it off. It's easier. Plus I cleaned it already. Alright. I hope all that grease that I removed doesn't kill it. Watch it not work now. It's like the rule, I guess. All right. Now we were gonna install our um, our tie rods and whatnot. Uh, that uh, these are our inner tie rods and outer tie rods. And what happened here? So our outer tie rods and sleeves are working just fine. One of our inner tie rods is actually the one, and one is completely not. I think this belongs to the Toyota. But the problem with this tie rod, it's that it has the Zerk fitting in the back. Now, a lot of times it's okay, it may have the clearance, but the Zerk fitting tends to hit the cross member and it pops right off, you lose your fluid, or you can't fill it. So the tie rods that I need have to have that Zerk fitting right on top of the head because then that you're able to uh, lube them up as they're on the, uh, on the center link. So, I have to call back the company, it was from eBay. I'll give you guys the info guys later uh, once we make amends with them and see what they say because then it's fair game if they don't talk to me 
But anyways, that's what we're doing right now. Uh, we were gonna do that. You guys saw us install the the front springs and the uh, uh, and the control arms with new ball joints and stuff. We painted the cow. We painted the firewall. We painted the underneath the pans that we replaced. And now we're ready to get this put back together. We're gonna go ahead and line up the fenders and inner inner fenders to go ahead and make sure that it squares up right before we button down the bottom frame which as you guys saw we actually did some repair to that too as well so once that's done we're gonna go ahead and marry the engine we're gonna try and do this before the week's over so this is gonna be a busy week yeah man that looks pretty cool I'm almost certain that this is probably never gonna work again <laughs> After all this cleaning and painting and beautifying, and once I install it, it won't work anymore. <laughs> it's just gonna piss it all out. So, for right now, it's pretty much done. We're gonna let it settle up and uh, we're gonna let it get cured up here overnight. It's pretty muggy. Uh, good thing is we got no rain. As you guys saw, we uh, finished up our firewall, we touched up our booster. Tomorrow we're gonna clean up our our master cylinder kind of give it the same kind of look here kind of give have a little bit of offset if you guys see I have the springs powder coated that old uh, Pontiac blue they look pretty cool they, they pop and then uh, try to get this this engine in and running before four months over I want to thank everybody on our Facebook page which if you guys know on our Facebook page you can go ahead and on MCSC green wheels go ahead and find yourself a Fox body for those that are out there looking for for one um, most of them you find are either from a thousand six hundred giveaway but always buy be wearing those to the bigger guys that are up there 24 35 you see them we put them all up there guys beware they're not our cars we just get the pictures we just put them up for everyone to go out there keep the community clean man and let's see if we can get more people out here probably meet up with some people at the shows like we did that uh, bleed for blue uh, and uh, the other one IG guys thanks for everybody in IG go on there give us a like hopefully you guys like the content especially on our YouTube channel don't forget to subscribe you know, next couple videos coming right up, guys, and we're going to keep you posted. We're trying to muscle through this. We just did Sergeant Reckless's door post. We're finishing up the bird, and I got that F-100 to do. Have a good night. See you soon.